Let's go with the guy who died last time. Ah. Uh, yeah. Um. Well, while we were waiting for Talion to come back, essentially, we were gonna just goof around in in the future. But somehow we ended up in Wonderland. In Wonderland. Well, you literally walked through a you know a looking glass. A mirror. Like is yeah. literally through a looking glass, man. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. What what I find amusing about that whole situation is uh, Ruck and Raja kind of got into it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Draco, on the other hand, was all like apprehensive, you know. <laughs> it doesn't want a part in the part of it or anything. Well, let's put it this way: Had you guys actually listened or you know didn't jump in like he was going to, your guy could be alive right now. Well, if he. Yeah. Did. He hadn't stopped to look at the pretty green light. I think he would have been okay. There was a person in the light. Rook wanted to kill it. No, full orc, Rook. Full what orc, it? Rook wanted to kill it. Um. So yeah, we started tracking down the Mad Hatter because he's crazy and apparently torturing rabbits. Um. We set off a trap that killed Rook with Disintegrate. So there's well, no items you, or anything after left. After you killed Alice. Yeah, well, yeah, after we killed Alice. Because we assumed it was Mad Hatter. She was eating a rabbit. So we're like, evil! Well, let's and be Rook honest. Right in. Have any of you not... Okay, has any of you actually eaten rabbit, rabbit before? Yeah. I have not. Yeah, it's, it's actually it's, quite good. It's good. It's really good. It's like a lot of people say it's like it's like chicken. It's not. It's actually better. Yeah. Well, plus also the way that the DM gave us the scenario is I don't remember her cooking a rabbit. Oh, I remember. I, I would like to point out that I would like to point, point out that Brooks player remembers you know that I I said that she was cooking the rabbit. Yeah, she, uh, he said the rabbit was on a spit and she was cutting into it. Uh, it was on a yeah. spit being cooked. So that's how I saw it. Yeah, see, all I heard was snickersnack, hack, hack. Oh, she was saying that. No, the, 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 crazy. the or... thing she was swinging was doing that. Oh. It does, like, oh. if you look at the description for Vorpal Blade, sometimes, well, in the early editions, it used to be, like, when she, when you swing it, that, it makes that noise instead of the sound of you cutting or slicing. Okay, so did we actually leave the mural, or are we still there? Um, you are on your way out. As you arrive, you find that the mural's primary entrance is wide open, um, along with it. We're going to go with a trail of blood, which you assume is the bunnies making their so-called grand escape. Okay, uh, Draco. Yeah. Uh, two questions. Uh, do, do you need Do you need a rest? Eh. Uh... <laughs> I'm down to one first level spell and oh, one I'm, I'm level okay. Spell. I want to use one level level two and one level three. I've got okay. all my level four, level one and I mean, I, I've got an abundance of cantrips and one one a day spells, so that's not an issue. If you want to keep going, that's fine. But I am gonna need a uh, at least an hour rest here soon. Yeah, sure. Keep going. You, uh, well, we've got that other passageway down the other direction in the mural that we never did check out. If you remember when we looked at the mural, the one way going left, which is the way the blood went, that's why we went left, and then there was another hallway to the right in the mural. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah, was. So I'll leave that as your call. Yeah, go down that, go and check it out. Yeah, cool. Let's take a look. And why do why do we still have Nori on the board? I'm just messing with you, Jack. And so I'm, I'm just with, moving things look around. Look at how large my character is. I love it. Six foot four, and all. Yeah, that's good for no. you. Okay, 
So as you make your way back and you find yourself staring at the entrance to the right, and originally I was going to have Italian bring Nori and the new character along, saying that he was from over there and not over here. So I was looking for that, and then we found out that he's not going to be here today. So. Oh, so Nori, d Nori was going to stay with the group. Well, she would just be a cat at that point. Okay. Like, you can't speak to her. And she may still, like, in a few situations, I was going to have, like, cast spells and whatnot. But at the end of the day, like, she has no particular reason to stick around her, then that's, she doesn't know where else to go. Well, as long as she doesn't think she's riding on my shoulder with Tittles. <laughs> well, apparently, her and Tittles got very close last time, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh my god, please tell me we're not expecting kittens. <laughs> you know what, we're still expecting work babies later on, aren't we? <laughs> right! Well, yeah. that's, been, that's been within the last three days, so... Unless we hit a time warp or anything, I, well, I don't... Well, there's a we're in the portal future. to time over there. <laughs> oh, that's right, we are in the future. We could meet Ruck Baby. You could, work like, grand babies <laughs> or something. Oh my god. Now, that's one thing we never actually did discuss, is it? We don't know how far in the future this is. No. Well, we just went through a minute, so... I don't know. We're in the future in... Wonderland. In the next up world. That's what we're in. Yeah, we're in the future, and then we went to Wonderland. So, yeah, this is extremely bizarre. All right, so, yeah, I guess, Jack, we are checking out the other hallway. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's head back to the back to the entrance and proceed down the other hallway, which you didn't go the first time around. As you make your way down this rather lengthy hallway, you guys can roll me perception checks. Oh, please. Yes, and thank you. You okay, guys an 18. Anyone else can roll? I go. Go find it. Oh, right. It works not even here, so never mind. Yeah. Dead. Well, is it up to you guys? Want to just throw them in or no? What's that? Like, I have no issues with being better in the form of adding a new character to the party. Well, unless we get into a fight, let's just meet him in the next room. Alright. So, you guys enter the next room. On an 18% check before you make your way into the room, and before anything that may be in the room will notice you, you detect the clear scent of rotting flesh. Uh, hey, well, he wouldn't know that. I was going to ask Draco if he remembers the carrion crawlers, but uh, <laughs> Raja obviously wouldn't remember that. Neither so, of you were there for that. Yeah. Yeah. Too many characters uh, so, ago. Yeah, <laughs> many, many characters ago. Uh, so I just go ahead and I go ahead and tell Draco about that. Um, what do you think, man? You want to go in? You want to stay out? What do you want to do? Well, like, could, be, could be more rabbits we could help. Could be rob uh, zombies. Zombies stink. Rotten flesh stink. Zombies stink. Then again, so do just corpses in general. Out of character, your character would know about carrying crows anyway, right? because of your race. Do you live in the underdark? Yeah, actually, because he's from the underdark, he would very he'd know more about carrying crows than the rest of you. Yeah. Yeah, but it's also like the same thing. Uh, if you, you know, if you smell chicken, you're thinking fried chicken, roasted chicken. You're not thinking cordon bleu. You know what I mean? So if you smell rotting flesh, um, you, you may think zombies, but carrion crawler isn't one of those things that would jump up on top of your list. Yeah, well, zombies would be on my top of the list when I, if I thought, smelled it, or just dead, uh, a pile of dead bodies. Right. Right. Um, so how about we just go ahead and do a sneak and peek in? I can always go ahead and do a uh, quick uh, stealth check, uh, get up to the corner and take a look in. Okay. I'll let you do that. Okay. On the 17, you begin to enter a room. If you take a look around, you find that the what falls along the walls are depictions of a small building to the left, bushes to the right, and a few somewhat maze-like bushes leading further in. So, 
it's leading outside, or is this is all in the room? It's it's all fake outside. It's like you can fake. tell that this gotcha. is all paintings or murals or structures that someone put together. Okay, I go ahead and uh, step back to uh, Draco and tell him, dude, it's more murals. More mur murals. Maybe yes. it's out. One of, one of the way out. Well, you know what? Uh, wasn't it the rabbits that told us that the Mad Hatter moves throughout Wonderland, for lack of a better word, through murals? Yep. So this could get us out. Exactly. All right, yeah, we're headed in. Okay. So I smelled the rotted meat, though, but I didn't see any. But there are, like, actual bushes around, if you want to really check every one, by all means. No, but I didn't see any, like, carcasses laying out or anything. Nothing that stood out to you in the first check. All right, all right, cool. For the most part, you can either... The main divide is you can go left, right, or down the center. Down the center seems to wind you through these, like, maze of bushes. Um, well, there's also murals on the left and right, correct? Yes. What are the murals specifically? Uh, the one on your left seems to pick what, at best, you could assume are, like, apartment buildings, a little older, like, a uh, old English kind of style. And the uh -huh. ones to the right are, you know, like open fields kind of thing, along with more plants and bushes. What do you think, Draco? I think right, because I don't know what them building things are. So you want to head back into the open field and hope to get us back in the center. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, basically. All right, go ahead, prick my thumb with a dagger and place it on the mural. You prick your thumb and place it on the mural. Not, not too long afterwards, you feel that the mural eventually begins to, you know, what, how did I describe it last time? Does any of you like your thumb touch it and you just go like, straight through? Yeah, it, it yeah. gives... Uh, same thing. Yeah. Although I did tell Rucky had to cut off his hand or cut off a finger, if I remember correctly. Yes, 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 you did. <laughs> he deserved it. <laughs> he punched it once, and then he was gonna lose a finger for it. Hey, you off know with what? His finger. Re revenge is a dish best served cold. All right. As you your thumb on the mural, it begins to just go away, and as you walk through it, Draco, do you go in? Yeah, follow along. All right. As you enter the rather large field, you look around. You're not totally sure exactly where you are, but when you look up, you do see the previous dome mural of the area you're in. If you remember from the first time you entered the first mural, before you entered the first mural, I mean, the area you were in is essentially an artificial environment that consists of a massive mural sky. And, you know, it wraps around as a big sphere. So we're not back in the main room that we dropped down in. We're in another sub mural. It's it's hard to tell exactly where you are. When you look around, you don't see the original sky that you saw. What's the sky look like? It looks very bright and sunny, as though the first time you saw it, it was a little cloudy and in the forest, in a more forested area. Yeah, but does it look real? It it's clearly not real. Like, none of the clouds are moving. Like, the one cloud you see in the distance is not moving. There's no wind. You, well, you don't really detect blood anymore. Now you just smell, like, paint. Well, that didn't work. You want to head back? Or do you want to stay here? Is there anything we can see in, in, in this area that could be, I don't know. Um... On a general check, without making a perception check, you can see what appears to be a tree very far away. There will be a large amount, about, I want to say, 300 feet away from here, on a large hill, a large tree. And there seems to be something underneath it, though you can't tell at this distance what it is. Is it wearing a hat? It seems more like a structure rather than a person. Okay. Well, it's on a hill, so if we go over to that, we can see more. Makes sense. Makes sense. And it's not like we don't know where we came in at, so. Okay, so start heading towards the, 
the hill, the tree on the hill. All right. Other than that, you could always make a perception check and get slightly more detail, assuming you've rolled higher than a ten. But, well, yeah, I think do that. Well, I'll give me a, I'll give it a go. Oh, oh, okay. It's <laughs> a nineteen. I'm trying to surprise myself. <laughs> nineteen will definitely succeed. Um, once you get a little closer, you make a perception check. What appears, to be, what you originally assumed was like a small cottage. It, it turns out to be actually on the next hill, past this hill that you originally saw, and it's a massive mansion on the other side. But what you see between the, the, you, this tree, and the mansion, is a field of poppies. And what appears to be a few unconscious individuals laying in the grass. Oh God! Now, now we're in the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I've no idea what you're talking about. So who, who's Wizard of Oz? Is there a wizard that you know? Uh, you talking to me? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm drinking tonight, so. Huh. Uh. All right. So there. Uh, uh, all right, let's do a nice hard perception check and let's take a look. How many people are asleep? How far away? Um, there is one relatively close to you, and that's the person you can make out the best. You could probably go to him and check him if you like. But on an eight, you, you make the assumption between about three and maybe five. You see a few like bumps over there, and they're kind of obscured by the grass. And then you're not help you, you didn't see any better than him. Oh, no. I don't expect to. You know, right. he, he's a little taller, and you're not. So, Draco, if I go out there, well, how about you go out there? And if anything happens and you happen to fall asleep, I can drag you back. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll send Tiddles out there. And if Tiddles falls asleep, we know. <laughs> right. Yeah, there you go. Now you're thinking. Okay. As a matter of fact, I've got I've got a bat familiar I can send out there as well, which I've never used. Yeah, it just magically appears out of your pocket. Boop, boop. Oof. So let's do that. Let's send Tiddles and uh, Mr. Smokey. All right, so I take Tiddles off my shoulder and sort of speak to speak to sort of say food over there. I'm pointing. Wow. It's like straight up lying to him. Sure. Yeah, and I will go ahead and tell Mr. Smokey, no matter what happens, stay ten feet behind Mr. Tittles. So much trust, guys. So much. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just like we want to know if if there is a barrier that makes people fall asleep exactly where it is. And we don't want to lose both familiars right off the bat. Right. If if uh, Draco wants to trade, we can do that. I'll go ahead and uh, go ten foot ahead, you know, as long as he stays ten foot behind. No, no, uh, Tiddles is okay because I'm watching to see if he falls asleep, what causes him to fall asleep. Right. There's something in the air. Yeah, so we're both sitting there readying a <laughs> arcana check. Right. The, the sky is meant to be clear and not cloudy, but the image I could, the best image I could find is this, and it has see, clouds. There you Poppies. Yes, it's not Poppy from League of Legends. She's a little more lethal than this. No, no, no. I'm actually thinking, like I said, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Okay. Well, you see, you feel the poppies, and you send out the cat and the bat. Is the cat actually familiar, or is she your pet? Oh no, she's just a pet. All right. Roman <laughs> Alma Handling. See what she does. Like she, she will definitely. You'll definitely have an advantage on this, but Roman Alma Handling. Let's see if she actually follows your orders. It is a cat, after all. Well, she, he managed to pull it off. He convinces the cat to do what he says, and she starts strolling off into the field of poppies. She knows if she doesn't... If he knows, should I say. It's, it's a he. If, if he didn't do it, then he wouldn't get fed. For one night. <laughs> Damn. No, no, no. no. Okay, no, well... He likes drinking wine. Your Tiddles walks up to one of the flowers immediately and like flicks it. And as far as you're aware, she is asleep. She flicking the flower ball. Oh, so it's the flowers. <laughs> she, they, she hasn't even walked in that far. She immediately fell asleep. You could probably reach over there and grab her if you wanted, but it's really up to you how risky you think this is. 
today you think absolute like any pollen come off the flower once you flip it. Um, you did see a little poof. Okay. Now, how far is Tittles away compared to the creatures that are asleep? Uh, the nearest creature, and it seems to be humanoid for once. Though you can't exactly make out for sure. You're you are still on top of the hill. Um, he's like about three foot in. You know, you could still you could reach out and grab him, but it's up to you if you want to risk it. Okay, I for go Tittles, ahead. it's literally you walk up and you just. Grab her long. She's not. Cut, long as you don't think it will trigger anything. Okay, I'm gonna have. I'm. I'm gonna have uh, Mr. Shadow sit there and hover. So, and then I'm going to walk down to right below Mr. Shadow, and I am going to hold my breath. Uh, step in, chuck Mr. Tittles out gently, of course, and then go in and drag the character that is three foot away from him. Out until I'm under Mr. Shadows again without breathing. All right. Roll me a Constitution saving throw. I'm going to give you advantage because you are holding your breath. But let's see how you do. Con save. On a 14, you will succeed. Yay! Like, as you're pulling him, you, like, get a lot of pollen up in the air. And, like, before you actually get him out of there, like, one of these flowers somehow shoots it directly at your face. But, of course, you're holding your breath. So you don't take any of it in, but it, it seemed almost intentional. Ah, see, there you go. Poppies. You managed, you managed to successfully pull him out of the flowers. Okay, let's slap him around a little bit without doing any damage and wake him up. Now that you get a better look at this person, um, he seems to be wearing a rather ornate-looking helmet. And the, the garb he's wearing seems to consist of a playing card on his chest. Like, you know, his tabard is of a playing card. Okay, we'll take the helmet off of him. I'll toss it to uh, Draco and said, stow that real quick. Then I'll start slapping him around and uh, waking him up. I can hold the breath for uh, one, one of your constitution of a minutes. Um, you slap him around and he seems to be slowly waking up. He says, what, 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 what happened? Yup, 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 What, you don't know what you just did? He starts to look around and tries to get up. His legs are a little numb. Okay, just calm down there a little bit there, uh, Queen of Hearts. Um, what you did was you walked out into the field of poppies, and they shot stuff up at you that made you fall asleep. Who are the rest of those jokers out there? Um, um, I, I, I don't remember. I'll slap him one more time. Try harder. That didn't help him, really. Um, he says, it looks like two of them are uh, the, the Queen's men, and uh, I can't tell who the, who, the other, who the others are. How far away are they? Um, quite a bit ways in. You'd be hard-pressed to pull out more than... Like, there is one that's pretty close, which is near one of the Queen's men. And the yeah. ones after that are way too far in. You could feasibly hold your breath, but it'd be dangerous. You, it, you wouldn't have advantage. You'd be, you would have to take a breath at some point if you were trying to grab the rest of them. Okay, now when you said way too far in, how far are we talking about? Um, the furthest one in is about 50 feet in. And then under that, they're kind of spotted in between 50 feet and where you currently are. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. All right. Um, not the two guards. The ones that obviously have playing cards on their chest. You know, I, I do want to ask him, were you guys chasing this guy? He looks around for a moment and tries to remember as best he can. He says, yes, yes, I was. What is he? He, I, I just won't remember. What, what was he? Who? Sorry, I, I don't remember. All right. Um, all right. Now, how far in is the farthest guy, did you say? The farthest guy is 50 feet in. The other, guy, the other guy who is not a guard is 40 feet in. And then it's guards until then. Shit. I don't, I don't, ha I don't have any second level spells. I can't do it. I was going to misty step in and drag him out. 
that actually would have worked. Yeah. Um, can we take an hour break? We take an hour break. I can do this, man. As long as we're away from the poppies in case the wind... It, it, yeah, yeah. Of, let's go ahead and back up about 30 feet. We'll go ahead and wake up Guy and a little more and try and get him to remember a little bit more and go from there. And I'll go ahead and uh, take take a short uh, break. I'll use my Arcane Recovery and uh, pull a second level and a first level spell back. Okay. okay. So, as you guys sit down for your short rest, I'm going to roll to see if anything happens. The guard will pull out apparently a small sack and he'll start searching through the belongings. He's just chucking Do stuff out. Do you want again? If you like, go ahead. I haven't declared anything just yet. Oh, well you said to roll and see if anything happens. I'm, I'm rolling right now. So the guard, he's looking through his bag and he eventually pulls out a small batch of what apparently from what he can't tell, but somehow you get the understanding. It's, it seems to be a batch of wonder posters. Mind if I take a look at those, sir? He says, um, but go ahead. And he hands them to you. Okay, let's take a look at them. Um, the first one you see seems to be of a wolf man. You make the assumption that, you know, from the outfit he's wearing in this and the person you can barely see over there, that maybe that's him. And what's he been accused of? Uh, as you look through it, uh, it says robbery. Okay. An attempted murder of the queen. I'm looking specifically for the Mad Hatter. As you sift through the various ones, eventually you find a rather old one written in specifically black paper and using what seems to be gold leaf instead of ink. It depicts the Mad Hatter, and it gives you a very good look at him. If you want a picture, think the more recent Disney adaptation of Alice in Wonderland, where the Mad Hatter is... That guy from Pirates of the Caribbean. Johnny Depp. Depp. Gotcha. Johnny Depp. That's what he looks like. And we have never seen him before, right? Um, unfortunately, you have not seen him. Rook may oh. have gotten a glimpse. <laughs> 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 Technically, he did. <laughs> oh, which reminds me. For those of you Twitch viewers who have been watching for a while, how many of you guys were rooting for Tim Solo to get eaten by the tiger? <laughs> oh god, everybody. Oh Jeez. wow. Scan I was rooting completed. for that. <laughs> Come on, that was that was so early on. That was, that was I early know, on. but I like I said, I was gonna give, I was gonna give him I was gonna give him three control animals and after that he was on his own. Well, the worst part is he died before we ever got a chance to find out. He like, was gonna get eaten by that damn tiger. Like he was gonna either die from the tiger or die from his actions. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, all right then. Uh, I'm gonna ask him if I can keep the one, uh, the Mad Hatter wanted poster. He said you, that you can keep them. All. all right then. Let's do that. All right. So, oh, by the way, I do want to ask him how the hell do you get out of here? Um, he keeps searching through his bag. Eventually, he pulls out what you can at best assume is a series of vials of blood. Vials of blood? Yes, it seems blood's the way to go. On the murals. Oh, you open things. oh, this is for them to get through the murals, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now, how do we get out of here? We fell through a mirror. And then fell down through this tunnel with all kinds of, you know, little chairs and, you know, teapots and stuff dancing around and stuff. And then we landed here. How do we get out of here? He looks around for a moment and says, I don't see any teapots. No, it's up there, out in the main area of the world. He has a somewhat bewildered look on his face as he looks up as best he can. And then he kind of points at what you assume be the depiction of the sun. It says, up there? Yeah. Well, I think I was told at some point that the Queen's castle touches the sky. The Queen's Castle has a guy. So tell me about the Queen. He, she stops talking. Tell me about the Queen. It's, it's best you don't meet the Queen. No, don't want to meet her, but I want to know why we don't want to meet her. He looks around like he's somehow expecting someone to overhear him. 
Oh, it's just us, dude. Don't even worry about it. We know how to keep a secret, don't we, Draco? I'm still playing with me. Trying to wake me cattle? <laughs> Your cat will wake up after the short rest is completed. So, you can spend the rest of the time doing that if you want. Uh, eventually, he will tell you that the queen has gone mad. Ever since about a week ago, at which she received a rather interesting crown, she has ever since had an obsession with severing the heads of her, of her subjects. Anyone who she deemed unworthy or a possible threat to her, to her world. Alrighty then. So yes, you're right. That's somebody we definitely don't want to meet. Uh, she, you go to. He even explains that the person that he's pointing out over there didn't actually even attempt to murder the queen. He stole food from the kitchen, and somehow she deemed that a threat to her life. So you don't think that's a bad man over there? Seriously, he's, he's slowly beyond. getting his memories back, but he's saying that. Yes, I'm getting, I'm, I'm remembering now, but we I don't remember what I was trying to do with him. But I know I wanted to catch him, but we weren't going to turn him in. All right. Um, all right. So once our short rest is over, and I have my misty step back. Yes. Um, so you are using your arcane restoration in order to get your second level spell. Do you actually yes. have enough for that, or no? I can get uh, three levels worth of spells back, so I'll take a one and a two. Okay. Um, when I go in and Misty Step, I, before I go in, I want to take... Um, God, Draco doesn't have a rope. I remember this from last se session. <laughs> 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 rope had every useful item. <laughs> it's just all gone. Yeah, but we do have a rope. I remember that because I did lower myself down to get to the keys. So I am going to tie a um, loop at the end of a rope. Mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm going to take the rope, put it in my hand. I'm going to misty step in, grab the guy who's farthest out, and as I drag him back, once we pass the next closest body. I'm going to put the loop around his ankle and then just string out the uh, rope until I get out of the sleep zone. Okay. You can definitely do that. Hmm. So at least we can get two of them out one shot. If it all works. <laughs> Which it never does, does it? It's unlikely to. Okay, well... At the end of the day, it's going to rely on you succeeding your check. Right. Um, going to go into like two checks. One will be with advantage, and the second will be before you fully make your way out. And then after that, it'll be simple enough to drag the last guy out of there, you know? Okay. Well, getting the last guy out of there is just going to be a strength check, isn't it? Yeah. Just and so assuming, that, assuming that you eventually wake up, it won't be a matter at all. It could be fine. Okay. The problem comes along if Draco has to do it by himself, then maybe this is a TPK. Okay, now one <laughs> thing. I, being a gnome, I have advantage on wisdom, charisma, uh, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saves versus magic. But since I'm rolling constitution, that doesn't matter, right? Yeah, yeah. like none of those are con, and this isn't inherently magical. Okay. All right, so I'm rolling uh, two uh, constitution saves, right? Yes. Um, you expand your Misty Step. You head over there and you make your constitution the same. The first one with advantage. You succeed in grabbing getting the rope around this one of the guys and you're trying to drag the other one out, right? Uh, yeah, I'm dragging out the wolf person. And like I said, I'm not pulling out the other one. I'm just, I looped a rope around his ankle and then I'm just stringing out the rope as I drag the other one back. Okay. All right. You got him like halfway back, man. That's 25 feet. Make your next check. This is not with advantage. A 15 will succeed. Yes! If you somehow manage to hold your breath through all this rather extenuating you know, effort considering how short you usually are, and you succeed as you make your way out of the field of poppies. It's good to be tall. It's good to be tall. <laughs> it really is. 
so after this, it's more a matter of time, considering that you and Draco are conscious of whether or not the air guy gets pulled out. But what do you oh, do? Oh, well, we've also got the uh, guard guy. He can help us draw, pull, pull him out, too. So there's three of us actually dragging on that body to get the second farthest guy out. He seems willing to help. And if you ask, he does. Okay, what, cool. some, what is to be noted, in the case you want to use it for whatever you want to use it for, you find that the rope that you eventually pull all the way back out is coated in this interesting pollen. Oh, great. Well. <laughs> it's up to you what you want to do with that, or if you want to risk using it in the future. I'm playing globes anyway, so I'm not oh, them. wait a second. So we're not actually asleep, but I have a... Yeah, I see where you're going with that. I'm going to wrap that up really carefully and put it put it in its very own little pouch. That would be a good idea. You're not asleep. All right. Uh, be right back. Sorry. Oops. All right. Who's so, asleep? Everyone? I'm not. Hey. Ryan's asleep. He, he's oh, yeah. the one on the floor. Nice. That's okay. So, I think we're going to go ahead and skip forward in our so-called hour in-game. And, Ron, you're waking up slowly. You have very limited memory of what has occurred previously, and it will come back to you the time. Okay. Go for it, man. Mm, what's happening? Who are you people? Uh, you were asleep. Out there, so we brought you back. You don't want to be okay. You go sleep easy. He's gonna sit up and like wipe his eyes and he fell asleep. Yeah, with these guards chasing him. Apparently. You. Chasing me gets up defensively. Okay, Rico, what you find about it? He's awake uh, now. Who's awake? Uh, this. Uh, my my character is. I didn't hear what either of you said though. <laughs> For the, I just said he. The guard said he's not. Uh, he doesn't think you're a bad man. All I was saying, I was too busy waking the cat up. Are you a bad man? No. <laughs> Prove it to me. Uh. <laughs> uh. Well, I, I don't know I, what you expect. Anyway. Whoa, Raj is standing there, arms crossed over his chest, foot a tapping. Also, he's like so much taller than you right now, man. Than me? Yes, he's taller than you, I believe. He's six foot something. How tall is your character? I got at least a few inches on me, I think. I just went for average height. He looks like a gnome as well. It's weird. <laughs> it's creepy yeah. how big and wide he is, man. And I'm yeah. gray. I'm, I'm putting on a really, really menacing face. You better start proving to me you're not a bad person. I didn't attack you yet? Oh, jeez. That's like me saying I didn't eat breakfast this morning, so I don't eat. <laughs> So what's your name? Uh, um, Terran. See this? See this? And I sit there and I wave the one in poster at him. That's you. This says you're a thief. And a attempted murderer. And attempted murder. And attempted murder? You didn't say that earlier? This guy's a murder. I don't even know why I pulled him out of the poppies. Because the guard said he just ro he robbed something out of, out of the... Shh, shh, on the air. <laughs> 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 
I don't remember any of that. Oh, we're going with the I don't remember situation. DM just told me I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he actually doesn't. No one else who is in there don't remember as much of anything right now. All right, so basically what we're looking at here is we got one more guard person to get out of here. Are you willing to help? Yeah, yeah, I can help. All right, then. Go get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Just go just walk right in. And you help us. Ahead, we'll, tie a loop, we'll tie a loop around uh, Taryn's uh, ankle. So just in case it doesn't work, we can pull him back out. Slap him around a little bit more. Sounds like a legit plan. Just tell him to hold his breath. You do realize this is all repercussions just because Ruck punched me. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, you can't forget the fact that your last character died because of him too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. Uh, but okay. So, how do you suggest we get him out? We're not leaving anybody behind. Uh, do you have a hook or something? We could just try and fish him out. So you're suggesting we throw a big giant metal hook at him, gouge him through the side, possibly rupture a spleen or a lung or something, and then drag him out? It doesn't have to be a big giant hook. <laughs> so use a little hook? <laughs> that just sounds like worse. Catch his armor. Uh. Catch his armor, catch his clothing. Okay. Well, I personally, I don't have a little hook on me. Mm. Well, how'd you get the rest of us out? Well, I guess you were sleeping through that part of it, weren't you? Clearly. <clears throat> okay. Not, not so, good. guys, as you are continuing your argument, you eventually realize the mural of the sky is beginning to change in color. The guard is, seems rather shocked and surprised, and Rook's character has no idea what's going on, so... Uh, immediately go to the guard captain. Why? What's the issue here? What's going on? He looks up. He stands up. He looks frightened. He says, she's coming. She's coming. The White Queen, she's coming. The White Queen? He starts running. What? Uh, slap the, other, slap the other guard that we woke up till he wake, and did we pulled out till he wakes up. Eventually he does get up, though he has... Equally, no memory of anything. I'm, I'm going to grab him by the ear, and I'm going to hold him down, but yank his head around. Tell me about the White Queen. Be quick. Running his memory. He also fails his memory. He says, he says, he says I don't know any White Queen. Alright, I will roll again. At a certain point, he's going to fail no matter what. He rolled exactly the same number. He has no idea. Like you said, eventually you're going to fail, so we're just going to keep shaking him around. Eventually, I'm going to tear this ear off. He rolled even worse this time. Uh, you eventually see that the sky is switching to a cloudy gray. Okay, I'm going to tell him, just run away. Just run away. He run starts away. running, but without any direction, he actually runs towards the poppies. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Not that oh. way. He turns. He turns around enough that you see a large plume of pollen hit him from the back, and he falls asleep again. Okay. Um, is there any place? Are we in a giant open field, or is there any place to hide anywhere nearby? You are in a giant open field. There's some tall grass, but that's not really gonna, you know, do much for you. How tall? If you were not six foot tall, you could hide in it pretty easily. All right, uh, I will turn to, um, uh, I'm sorry, Rook, what's your name now? Uh, Taryn. Taryn, Taryn, how do we get out of here? And who is the White Queen? You can uh, roll me a history check. Okay, I'll roll a history check. History. You succeeded yeah, on the history, history check. Eat. You know what the White Queen is opposed to the Red Queen? Um, they're both insane. 
Uh, quite bad ruler. Likes to kill people. Okay, now we've got the right queen, the white queen, and the red queen. Both of them are obviously insane and like to kill people. If you yes. had a choice of which to be captured by, it would go... I'd kill myself first. That'd be the, uh, that'd probably be the correct answer. Okay, how the hell do we get out of here? Start running and we'll follow you. We're not oh, towards the you, guys, you guys gotta hurry up, man. I was like, I'm preparing for battle at this point. Yes, like, yes. We, which which way do we run here, dude? And uh, oh, do I know yeah. off of that history check, or do I make another one? You can have to make another one. If you succeed, you'll, you should be able to get out there. Oh, you actually you succeed. <laughs> um, you know that going through the mirror would be the easiest way to get most distance, but the possibility of her catching sight of you before you leave is higher. Otherwise, you can stay in this relative area, but head in the same direction the other guard who ran off went. Uh, do I know what he's going to? Um, you believe he's going to a nearby hunter's den, which is along the path he's going. Um, hunters are not particularly friendly, but they're not going to kill you for at least showing up. The White Queen would. Now, is he saying uh, uh, this, or is he thinking this? No, he's, thinking he's thinking this. Okay. Uh, we need to go to a mural. Okay, now, quick question. If we just lay down here, right beside the edge of the poppies, will they come this far? That's completely subjective. I have no statement on that. That's... Okay, then we follow you. Run. Yeah. Run! Run Mural. like the wind! Yeah, we're running. <laughs> yeah, we're going. If, okay. I to, if I have to, I'll go ahead and pick up the halfling and run like hell. Okay, pick up Tittles and follows. Sills is very light, you have no issue carrying her. She always rides on my shoulder anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys begin running away. As I place one more token on the board. Don't worry. It's not horrifying. Um, okay, I've never, I've never been on the to on the board, so I'm okay. Oh my god, it's a big giant A. Alright. So I'm gonna place the A over here. I'm gonna place you here and her over there. Okay. Basically, we're, we're going into roles of how fast you can run, and that's depicted by successful athletic checks. Well, I'm not on the. Board. But if we're if we're doing a dash, we can double speed, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then. So I'm moving at approximately seventy at a dash. Okay, but really, at this point, is she's moving at roughly the same speed as you. This is more about if you, who wins in the race of succeeding athletic checks as you make your way to the exit. It's okay. It's not really about movement speed here. It's more uh, about endurance. All right, then. Before we get going, then, I am going to use my last third level spell and cast it on Draco. Okay. Yes, Draco will probably need it more than the rest of you. <laughs> so there he goes. He doubles up. All right, Draco. Oh. It'd be nice if you drop your token. It's, it's really just going to be athletics. You'll have advantage. Everyone else will be rolling regular. I'm going to... Uh, oh. Um, you didn't give me one. No, uh, get into your bio and whatever picture you grabbed, uh, drag it onto and drop it on the field. Yeah, can you do that? Oh, yeah. Okay, there, there you are. Oops. Okay. So, a successful check means you move four squares. A fail check means you move two squares, and will proceed like that until you make way to the exit or decide to have a combat situation. And it has to be athletics. And it's going to be athletics. Alright. I'm going to along and do aerobics. It's a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Alright. Roger's going to do one more thing. Okay. You have time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are invisibility. And you're invisible. Though, obviously, if you move yeah, around, I can't you have do a much. rough idea well, where you are. It comes from the shield, so do I need concentration? Um, let's see. The shield... 
Um, no, you're, I think for the shield on that, you are concentrating yourself. Like, the mask is the only thing that concentrated for you. The shield isn't. Okay, then, so I can do haste and invisibility at the same time. No, I'm saying you can't. Oh, I cannot. So, cannot. all right, then, we'll so, go ahead and so. leave haste on. We'll go ahead and leave haste on Draco, then, and I'll just run like hell. Don't you have, like, a deed gnome ability that has something like that? Uh, n not invisibility. I can do blur, and I can also do um, uh, uh, non-detection. Matter of fact, yes, I will do that. I'll go ahead and slap non-detection on myself as well. All right, there you go. Since yeah. it's not concentration, you'll be fine. And run so, like hell. Okay. For the most part, if we, if you, you get, if she does close enough to actually swing at you, you'll go ahead and get a chance to roll yourself. Maybe she won't see you when she gets there. So, guys, make your athletics, and I will roll hers right now. But I've got a minus two for athletics. Uh, yeah, then that's a bad... That's a bad... That's 20. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe we should move eight squares. <laughs> Did crit. Maybe. Oh, God, no! Draco, um, Draco I, passed. <laughs> my movement speed is 45, so... It's I, not really yeah. movement speed. We're doing like... Yeah. Yeah. So Draco. But I can move really fast. Right? Was it uh, with an uh, advantage, was it? Yes. Draco, you have advantage. So uh -huh. you move four squares, Ron can move up to eight squares, and unfortunately, Dink, who is helping everyone else, <laughs> can only move two squares. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing really bad here. And as you turn around, she okay. is riding Shoot. on the backs of apparently an all white horse. You get the inkling that this horse is painted white. It wasn't naturally white, but she's trying to chase your tail. Okay, can she physically see me? You can roll stealth, and I'll roll against it. Uh, I've got invisible. Oh, we've got a good stealth here, so come on, 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 come on. Yay! All right. And she rolls an 11. You should also have advantage because you're invisible. No, I'm not <laughs> invisible. I couldn't do both. Yeah, you oh. can do both. The non-detection does make it harder for her. Okay, well, not to change too much. As far as you're worried, she doesn't know you're there. But it's really up to you. At the end of the day, Draco is in between you and her. Or he, you're in between Draco and her. So maybe she's looking at Draco or she's looking at you. Alright, I am going to stop running. I'm going to duck down. I'm going to continue to concentrate on Draco's haste. And then at the very last moment, right before she pops up on me, I'm going to pop invisibility and drop the haste off him. You realize that will stun him for a minute. I mean, for like 10 seconds. What's that? For one round, he'll be stunned when haste drops. Yeah, it's nice stuff. Well, you know what? It, it comes down to, I hate to say this, Draco, but it comes down to you or me. And I'm a shitload closer than you are, as long as you keep running like hell. Because nope. you should be you should be moving at fifty a clip, so you should be a, you should actually be ahead of the other dude there. Yeah, oh, well. actually, now, since you do have haste, I'll let you move in there two extra squares. Go ahead. So you'll you'll get there. The issue is that Gideon will be in the back. Not Gideon's dead. <laughs> Gideon's still here somehow in spirit. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> the worst part is I loved Gideon as a character. He was great. Uh, all right. So begin the next round. Ryan, start us off. Nope. Yay! Okay. Well, you're not going too far, are you? <laughs> oh, um, y'all just. Well, you still got a twelve out of it because you're still doing an advantage. But Ryan's boned. Mm -hmm. And well, you are I not was, moving. I, I did not twenty the first time, so I'm making up for it. <laughs> He's he attempting to. Over himself. So, did the, the 12 do anything? Can I move or not? You're moving only the two squares. And, Ryan, you're also moving two squares. Like, you created mm -hmm. the first time, and now you're moving two squares. Yeah. And, uh, for the most part, Dink, you don't have to worry about it yet, but when she's on you, we'll, just, we'll roll in herself, okay? Yeah, I'll go ahead and, like I said, I'm not even going to worry about stealth. I'm just going to pop invisibility. Sorry, but Draco's on his own. Doing it now? If, if, if it comes down to it, I'll use my title to buy him when, when I can. It just means I'll be rolling on the, on the 
Oh, Sage. Mm. Yeah, yeah, right, next one. What's that, right? Okay. I'll go, I'll run over to him and use it in case of the... Alright, Ryan, start yes. off. Go again. Acrobatics. The athletics. What I have to roll again. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's wow. Just, that is horrid, man. Okay, well... Do I have to roll again or not? Um, technically, yes. Oh, yeah, well, you didn't succeed. You also moved two squares. Gideon, she is on you. Did you already pop invisibility, or are you going to? Yes, I'm going to pop invisibility as soon as, as soon as I think there's even a chance for her to see me. All right, roll yourself. You have advantage, and I'll roll against it. Even with invisibility, I still need to roll stealth. Yes. yes. It's more that she has a good idea that like, you okay, were I'm, there. I'm, I'm cool with that. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. There's no way she's going to beat that. But the main thing is, like, had you done it right off the bat, she would have no idea where you are now. But since she knows what direction you're headed, it's like she'll know that you should be here, even if she can't see you. Okay, so she's a tracker beast. Gotcha. In a way. And as she moves, I'm going to follow behind her. All right. All right. She'll, she'll get the nerd two squares. She actually succeeded last time. All right, guys. Unless you're going to start comment right now, it's up to you. Dink. Oh, I thought stunned. I'm not stunned. Okay. You are stunned. He, yeah, I thought... yeah, you're stunned. Dink, you think stunned? do you attack or do you wait a little longer? No, I'm just following. All right, you're going to follow. All right. I'm going to hold off until I absolutely have to because I've got like two spells and... Then I'm down to cantrips. All right, Ryan. <clears throat> Athletics. Actually, I've got one damn first level spell, and then I'm down God to cantrips. God damn it. Ryan, you're not succeeding. Move two squares. And our other friend is unfortunately unconscious. Well, stunned, I mean. And she gets her down four squares up. One, two, three, four. Four! My God! She's getting there. She's coming on you. Let me see. He moves 45. He's moving 50. And they're not outrunning her? Shit. Pardon my language, sorry. Well, the main thing right now is the idea of like endurance. You may be technically having a higher movement speed, or e roughly equal, but eventually it's going to be that push and pull of who, who can keep it going long enough to get, get there. I'm okay. a mug! <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe we should stop and fight her. So do I do an athletic now because I was uh, stunned for one round? You are, you are stunned now. I was stunned for the last round because I didn't do anything. So uh, this okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, do I need to roll an athletics check to try and keep up with her? Um, technically, yes. But, you know, you don't need to be next to her. Uh, you move two squares. You don't need to be next to her to actually do anything, you know? Since One, it sounds like you're going to try to start combat. Two. Mm -hmm. Alright, directly you succeed. You may move your four squares. Alright. Run. Start it again. Run. Oh, geez, move Ryan. two squares. <laughs> Draco? <laughs> Maybe you can get out. I had one good one. <laughs> Draco, move two squares. Get in. Do you initiate combat, or you wait a little bit longer? No, no. I'm just trying to keep up with her right now. I'm uh, because honestly, I'm guessing there by the looks of it, it looks like they might actually get there before she does. Up, oh, nope. I guess I'm just getting the two squares. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, now obviously they're not going to get there. Wait a second, I got I gotta move the Skype thing. Draco's gonna make it. Uh, I'm not sure if I care about the new guy yet. <laughs> you did just meet him. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. But you're a heartless and, bastard. And I'm chaotic, Raja, Raja. I'm chaotic neutral. I don't know how to play this out. <laughs> Because I don't want you to die the very first time you broke use the character. <laughs> so I'm real excited about this new new character. <laughs> yeah, this new character is going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know what? Just in time for Italian to come around. Yeah, really. 
All okay. right. Athletics? Yes. Though, obviously, you know she's right behind you. You move, you're going to get attacked. Oh, my God. Or you can initiate combat. You can still attempt it, and maybe she'll miss her attack. Well, I'm okay. Can I disengage and move? You'll be moving only two squares, though. And obviously, she could get up at you and swing anyway. So I'll take it out, maybe. You like. you can definitely hop through, or you can sit by the door and wait. Actually, take technically Draco, you take one damage as you have to cut yourself to open the portal. Okay, I've got a question. We're all running towards this, you know, fictitious shack. Now, who's to say that it's going to keep her out? Literally nothing. <laughs> also, when she is heading towards the mural, or heading to the shack. We're yeah. heading towards the mural. Oh, the mural. Okay, I didn't know. I I because I remember you talking about the shack from the uh, guard captain. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to oh. change it now, we could still. Be, no, no, we we're no, we're following. Spot. We're following the wolf cat, wolf boy, wolf guy. All right. So, yeah, but Draco got ahead. So, so Draco, Draco's fine. So it's all whether or not you either want to get swung at. You could disengage and move two squares. But obviously, you should still swing at you then. All right, I'll just. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold there and oh! try my best to dodge. Jeez. She's gonna swing. All right, you take an active dodge. Gideon, before this starts, are you going to attack? Or are you going to wait and see what happens? No, I am going to make an action. I am going to scream out as loud as I can. All hail the Red Queen. <laughs> Roll me intimidation. Well, I'm, I'm on my own now, Lord. I'm both dead now. <laughs> intimidation? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I have no skill at it. An eight. Um, I guess it all depends on whether she'll care. She rolls a 19. I don't think she cares. No. Okay, so I tried. Uh, <laughs> I just tried to distract her for a moment, man. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, Draco, you can still see this happening through the mural as we're probably going to go ahead and roll initiative. Draco, it's up to you. If you want to just not be in combat, you don't have to be. Well, I'll, I'll stay if it goes badly or if, if you need help, I'll be able to get back to it. Where's the initiative on this sheet? This this remind this reminds me of Talion with the little boy drowning. <laughs> the initiative is right um, in between armor class and up. speed in the middle above current health. Oh, I gotta click that. You have to actually touch the name, not the, the number. names of things. I gotta get used to that. So yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna roll a cocktail. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> This is gonna be, bad, gonna be bad, bad, I think. Yes, yes, yeah. it will be. So what we're gonna do <laughs> come back. is we're gonna cut the stream temporarily, because it's been the one hour mark, and we'll come right back and that'll be it. So if anyone's watching, we'll be back in like let's say five minutes, just in case. Yeah.